Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> you guys have any questions? Nick, Quinn, or Christian? Um, I'm on lesson two right now. Okay. A am I supposed I to be on that lesson? or? That's yeah. where we got to last time. That's where we got to last time. I didn't know if you guys did more since then. Nope. Oh, you suckers. You're supposed to do more and then come with questions. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know if high school. you can hear it, but um, when you talk, Seth, um, yeah. every once in a while, it'll be like your voice will repeat over and over again. Like, it's not like an echo thing. It's like really, really fast. I don't know. It's, but it's like... It might be your computer lagging. Yeah. It might be. Is it happening on yours, Christian, or... Nick? Uh, nope. What was that? What happens? He's saying my voice like repeats itself over and over. Yeah, it, but no. it's like super fast. So it sounds like the Mario jump or the <laughs> um, Sonic jump sound or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't play Mario. Your voice just, to me, it <laughs> sounds like your voice. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you say, does anybody have any questions, I have to, like, practically bite my tongue to not do a sarcastic, like, how are babies made? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that one you go to your parents for. Nah, uh, nah that one I go for, to the internet for. No, don't listen to Mr. Google. Mr. Google gives... I never got the talk. I learned. <laughs> All right, yeah, Mr. Google will mess you up. All right, so oh, here trust we go. me, it can't get any more messed up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. So, lesson two. Let me see if I have a Pong. Oh, I was working on this new thing about this game. You want to see what happens? Oh, sure. sure. Okay, so whatever enemy is closest, that's the one the guy's going to shoot at. Om nom nom. Oh. Om nom nom. Oh, that's cool. So, um, so he shoots at whatever, so as soon as that one gets further away, then he'll shoot at that one. I think there, I see a glitch. Well, what's your, <laughs> okay, what glitch do you see? The fact that it's shooting out from uh, his butt. Well, yeah. <laughs> when you're turned around. <laughs> so that's a move to function, right? So um, here. I was hearing, like, him saying nom nom nom. And who recorded that? What? I don't huh? understand the question. <laughs> um, like, um... I was just saying nom nom nom. Oh, okay. Nom, nom. That, <laughs> that was, uh, that was, <laughs> I was recording. Was okay. No. No, that was not... Uh, <laughs> that was me when I when he first started placing the second enemy. <laughs> okay, so this... Yeah, because the enemy's mouth is opening and closing. So this is... This yeah. comes in lesson... Eight. I'm going to add this to bonus material. And so weird things I find and think kids might want to try, I'll add to bonus material. Um, and then this line of code is what determines where the laser goes. So I don't I know if you guys, have, <clears throat> you guys oh. haven't dealt with this yet, but it's going to find the player's X coordinate and then add his width to it. So this is all this before the comma becomes a number that gets put in for X. You guys have all done move two, right? Yeah. Remember with the yeah, ball, we did, we did ball move two, and we would That's just how we made the ball move. Yeah. So you would just put in a number normally. We did set size, center, friction, bounce, push up, push left. Yep. And there's a move two in there. So if you just put in the hard coded coordinate, it will go right there. Or there's you no move two in mine. Yeah, we we did a different thing. At like, okay. we put it in, but then we changed it after. Okay, so if you went to lesson... Oh, whoops, that's the tower defense game. Ooh, tower defense game. That one. Yeah, I'll show you that one later. Okay, so this... I think it's right here. So oh, this by the way, to. have you guys heard of a game called Blade and Soul? No. Nah. I almost feel like a game tester for it, even though it's not in beta anymore. I've been finding so many typos in, like, the dialogue that I've just been taking screenshots of every time. <laughs> oh, that's then, another thing. If you find typos, send them to me, too, about this. Oh. I can fix them fast. Okay, so okay. This, is, this is the move to, right? So we have an X and a Y coordinate that you pass in. Yeah. Another way to do that 
because our player's always moving, we can't put in a just a number, right? And so this is one way to do it, player.x. And then we added his width, but we could add – that would make it go to the very edge. We can add, like, 50. And then this right here will get his y-coordinate and then half his height. So that's why it was going to the middle of his body. So we could do um, – Let's see, player dot y plus, I don't know, 25. So now when we refresh this game, add an enemy. So now it starts right there in his helmet. Does that make sense why that worked? Then if you face the other way, we'll go out of his backpack. <laughs> so then you have to pass in variables. But anyway, I just was going to show you that. Okay, so let's go to lesson two in the Pong. Um, have you guys built your paddles yet or anything like that? Um, Are you literally on lesson 2.1 right where we left off? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, for the um, shooting thing, the um, laser thing, uh -huh. um, it uh, said in there to put the um, player.getx and player.gety. Oh, yeah, they're the exact same. Okay. okay. That's the same thing. By the way, when I say typo, just to clarify, like, the first one I found and took a screenshot of, mm -hmm. in, like, the middle of the word the, there's just a random opening parenthesis. <laughs> it goes T, parenthesis, H-E. <laughs> That's funny. So I took yeah. a screenshot of it, and I've been doing that ever since with every typo that I've noticed. That's good practice. I mean, you'd be a good tester for us. So, yeah, so th it, this is the same, get X or just X. Anyway. All right, yeah, my, my, my screen's, st what happens? You What's happening? Magic, black magic. Wait a second. Um, so I don't... I'm going to do the same with, so see how I'm a Nix account and it looks different than yours? Wait, you're in my Chris account? Quinn and Quinn. No, you're in Quinn's. Oh, I'm in Quinn's, that's right. Yeah, it looks different. Um, <clears throat> this is the new thing we're going to be doing, so you guys can see other classes we're building. Some of these are done. Some I'm in the middle of. And then you can see kids who have uploaded things. Josh Millward, Millward uploaded level one. Does this work right now for us? Let me click on level uh, one and see what it is. It'll take you to... Oh, this is his tower defense, but I don't have his images. Um. <laughs> so we're working on... So see how Zachary Zang uploaded Pong.zip? What happens if I click on that? Oh, uh, it'll download a zip file to your computer. So you can see this is how far Quinn has has got so far, and this is what he, and this is what he has left in the JavaScript game. Is he in the office as well? Um, I have my programmer Forrest here. Oh, okay. I only have twenty-seven lines of code. Yes. Okay, let's add like up to forty today. And then these are other courses you can take, and you can kind of see what's in them. I'm going to change quizzes to be more description, more descriptive. This is the tower defense one. Here's our phone apps courses. I'm almost done with these. Anyway, so I'm going to make you guys. Ha I'm going to give you guys this version of our um, dashboard, and then when you need to, just access course content here. And so this will be something that we're going to push out to everyone eventually, but. Let me know if there's any questions or if there's if it acts weird. Okay. I'm okay. going to add that to you guys right now. You'll watch me do it. And so I need to go to Nick. So, Nick, you live in Utah, huh? Uh-huh. Kaysville. Kaysville, nice. And then the other thing I need you guys to do is tell your parents to leave a review on Amazon. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm, I got to get to 100 reviews. I'm almost there. Okay, is your Christian? I don't know how to find you in here. What's your last um, name? Sue. Um, my last name is <laughs> McClung. It's spelt like M C C L U N G. There you are. Yeah. Soul Rebel. <laughs> That's my mom's email. I actually have an email, but um, my mom used her email to send. It'll... You want me to add yours to it? Okay. It won't matter, actually. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> so you just get – it goes to your mom's email account when we 
send stuff to you then, right? Uh, yeah. That's fine. That's why I do it on my mom's computer. <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay. So um, you guys, oh, did you have a question? No, just uh, I was um, looking through the checkpoint on lesson um, 2.1, and I was like, dang it. Where's all my code? I didn't send so the actual not. picture. <laughs> Am I supposed to delete everything? <laughs> okay, so is this how far you guys are? Yeah. <clears throat> right here? Okay, you're on. I have about 28 lines, but that's probably because I didn't have as much spaces. Yeah. But you have the ball, and the ball is bouncing all over the place, right? Yes. Okay, let me okay. pull up. Yeah, I have 28. Okay, so Nick and so Christian, this is where you're yes. at. Yep. Okay, let's start off from there. You want to see the weird tower defense game before? Sure. So this is a this is a next lesson. So this one gets into some pretty cool hardcore coding. So this is kind of a 2D tower defense kind of thing. Yeah, and then we do a top view one. Okay. And then here comes the boss battle. Oh, they're animated. Sweet. Yeah, they're just gifts. So he's just flinging. He's actually flinging a condensed blocker. <laughs> Wait, I have a gift that I'm kind of tempted to put in. Yeah, use your own gifts if you want. <laughs> Although it might not be the best one. Okay, don't use it if it came from Google. <laughs> okay, no, so here we go. We're in the pong game. I know it came from Facebook. <laughs> okay, so let's do the pong game real fast. Let me go back into someone's account so I'll have the lessons. How, how do I open it in the browser? Okay, so are you at, how do you open your game? Yeah. Do you have it oh. opened in your code? Oh, it's Donald um, Trump. Yes, I have um. my code. Oh, okay, so, so are you looking at my screen, Christian? Yeah. yeah. So if you right-click, you're going to have two, two main oh. options. You have open in browser, open, Yeah. and then you also have copy file path. So I use copy file. Open in browser will take your default browser and open it. So, That's, I did open in browser. And it worked? People watch this, they're going to not even know that segment even happened. Okay, sweet. Okay, here we go. So we're, gonna, we're on creating paddles, right? So when you're creating paddles, you're going to make another object. If you look at your ball, I'm going to move this code over here so we can, I don't have to move my screen so much. Just out of curiosity, what's the like grid that keeps appearing in the center bottom of your so screen? So it's called, um, so I'm on a Mac. And so I have all these screens that are open oh. and with different things on them. Oh, so it's kind of like Alt-Tab? Yep. And so okay. it's a program called Spaces. Okay. Okay, so right now this is what your ball's doing, and we need to create another object. So if you remember, this is how we created our ball object. Now we need to make one for the paddle. Okay, so if you come in here, we're going to type in paddle. New. So this, you guys are doing this with me right now, right? Yeah. Okay. I hate arranging my desktop. No, mine gets so messy. It's annoying. Just so it's gonna be I just kind of, I just sorted a bunch of mine out, like into the different corners. <laughs> go into the images folder. You can see the different paddle options. I don't even know if that is one, but let's find out. Um, and then Quinn, refresh your whole browser. And you should have the chat now. Um, whole browser. I'm using three different browsers right now. Okay, you're one with um, simply coding. With you. So I'm in your account right now, and you can see that the chat window's up. Something weird happened when I typed in the, the picture. There's like this blue bar. Oh, yeah, it works. At the top of my screen, at the top of the game. That's your paddle, Christian. Oh, okay. Like this? Y yeah. That's the paddle. Okay. okay. So what happens is, remember, this whole viewing screen is part of our start function. So you just made an object. We didn't tell it where to go, so it goes to the top left. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we just, oh, yeah, we forgot to do a comment tag. You can do that. And then you made your... Object. Okay, so now we need to give objects properties. You remember how to do that? Variable paddle one. Oh, wait. Yeah, I should have called it paddle one. I should read my instructions first. Yep, you want to call it <laughs> paddle one. Then the first thing you always do, just like your ball, 
You want to give it a type. And we want it to just have a type paddle because so when we think about the pong game, there's going to be two paddles, right? And they both need to have the same type. That way they'll be they'll react the same when the ball hits them. So we're going to have paddle one, and then we'll give it a type. And then center it at the top of your screen. Okay, so Nick and Christian, I want you to just go through lesson two, 2.1. Go through that whole activity. Let me know if you have questions. I'm going to help Quinn. Okay. Quinn, I want you to send me your code through the pure chat that we normally use. Okay. I forgot that this was actually being recorded before I put up the Donald Trump. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Where is my... Oh, well. All right, I'm pacing you then. Okay. Yeah. Unable to start chat. Please try again. Come on. Wait, how do I link the <laughs> images? Okay, so the images. So our Pong folder is saved in our, our Pong.html is saved in our Pong folder, right? Uh -huh. And so when you do new SJS.image, you'll access the images folder, and then you'll tell it which image you want to show up. So if I were to open up... Equals new SJS image. Yeah, so if I were to open up parenthesis desktop. Oh man. And then I want to do my main design. And then we go Pong. Oh wait, I've already known that. So these are all the images we have. So the paddles are really blue, green, red, paddle, paddle two and I just need to go paddle. Do I need to put paddle.png? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. so if you open up your images folder, it has to be exactly the name. Only at the bottom. Oh, I mean bold. Um, set size. Hold on, I'm trying to just make, make sure that it's not that I have too many lines. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, it's because I had too many lines in the start chat thing or something. Okay, yeah, start the chat. I'll I'll join you. All right. There we go. One hundred twenty. Okay. Yeah. So inside of here, oh, you made a boss, huh? Um, a boss that stands completely still and doesn't do anything. That's a pretty. Good well, except when when you shoot him, it makes. N O R appear in the top left of the screen, <laughs> which isn't supposed to happen. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where I want to. Oh, I don't need this thing. I don't want to get rid of this platform code yet. I gotta put that. There's the pong code we're working on. This is another cool piece of code. Test that I like to just have as is. There's my waffle. Yeah, make a new one. At the paddle dot or paddle one dot center h, do I need to put anything inside of the parentheses? No. Okay. No, it's calling a function called center h to center something horizontally. Okay. So if you put something in between there, it would pass it to that function, and that function wouldn't know what to do with it probably, and it would just break. Okay. Variable pad. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Images. Um, yeah, sorry that I have all of my images like that, just I normally have half the screen. And yeah. I, I don't I don't like it like halfway through the image. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. So it doesn't mess up the code, it just... Okay, so you're right. Okay. <laughs> 
this is, and then you hit space bar. And then, let's see, let's see what you're saying. Move paddle two to the center bottom. The object that show is not a function. This object move two is not a function. Okay. <clears throat> what's it like here? Oh, center V works, huh? You made a center V. Yeah. Good find, Quinn. I've never used I've Center V. all kinds of gems in there. <laughs> yeah. Have to look. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, not all right. Set size. Okay, so I've done the activity. Okay, how did it go? Did you did you get pretty far? Oh, uh, there's one. There. Okay, so with the move to Quinn, you can't split them up. I have thirty seven hmm? lines now. You have thirty seven lines. Okay, let's see if that fixes it for you, Quinn. Oh nope, something's still happening. Might be in your on hit. Okay, so he's getting all these weird eggs. Object dot show is not a function. Okay, I'm gonna help these guys for a second. I'll I'll get to this, Quinn, and we'll figure it all out. Alright. But the move two seem to be Okay, um Nick, did you get through lesson two? Point one. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So right now your game. Man, I'm all messed up. Where did the where was I at? Here I am. Okay. So you guys should have something that looks like this. You have a paddle one and a paddle two, right? Yeah, I have two paddles on either side. And they're both on either side. Good work. One's blue and one's red. Yeah, you could change those if you wanted. Oh, it doesn't look like they're in the center. Oh, are they not all the way in the center? They're yeah, it looks like to they're... the center, though. <laughs> it looks like they're... Does it look like mine? Oh. Wait, one second. I'm not in full screen. Let me see. Um... Just because it should be... You want to send it to the bottom first, and then center it. I should change that code. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Nope. Why? What did I mess That's up? That's how it's supposed to look. Wait no. one second. Oh. Why didn't it go all the way to the bottom? Okay, so we want to go to the bottom. The way I did it, it went to the bottom and the center. It went almost oh. to the center for me. Yeah, it was yeah. kind of to the right. Okay, so yours doesn't look like this? Mine kind of looks like they're a little bit uncentered, but to the other side. Oh, I see. So it's centering based on this. Based on the edges of yeah. the thing? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you want to get exact, you could do a move two. Uh, I'm fine. Okay. Or offset it. Or if offset it's, it. Yep, you could do a dot okay. offset. If it's going to be Pong, won't they be moving back and forth anyway? Um, yeah, exactly. The, the yes. paddles. Yep. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's right. So what we have to do next is we be able to control the paddles. And then we want the ball to bounce off the pedals. Okay, so if you got done with that one, then Listen. what you do is come into here. Oh, wait, 2.2. 2. When objects collide. So this is saying, <clears throat> so the types in, in programming, when you make this variable ball, we can give it properties. But in order to have it like an ID or, or be a, a unique item in the game, we need to give it a type. And so... You'll notice both paddle one and paddle two have the same type. And when we're doing collision detection, we're going to be dealing with the pot, with the type, not the variable name. So that's what this that's what this lesson's talking about. So we're going to make an on hit. So this is how you detect collision. You go SGS dot on hit, and then you pass in the two types, and then you create a function. Now with this function, um, you're going to tell it what the objects are, and then we're going to do a bounce off. So that's what we're going to do first.
and then this is a key down key down function. So this is collision detection mm -hmm. between this parenthesis and this closing bracket. I mean between these brackets, that's what's going to happen when these two items collide. So we'll do that in the code and then we're going to control movements. So you'll see here we have a key down function. So that means when you push the key down and then you specify which key, the left key, you could put A right there, capital A, capital W, any key on the keyboard, and then you create a function. Notice where the capitals are. You have to have the down capital and then whatever key you're pressing has to be in all caps. And then, and then between these brackets, again, you have what's going to happen. So we want to push the paddle left, both paddle one and paddle two left, and then same with the right key. <clears throat> if you wanted the, the paddles to follow the mouse, this is how you would have it follow the mouse. So that might come in handy in other games you make. We're not going to use it in our actual code for the Pong game. We'll so just I need to add the SJS dot on hit, yeah? Yep. Okay. So what we need to do first is right underneath this, right here we're going to go SJS dot on hit, and it was a capital H, and then you pass in the two pipes. Now I'm going to show you a little bit different way that's in the example just to kind of make a point. So when you're passing stuff in as arguments to this function, whatever you pass in first will represent the ball, and whatever you pass in second will rep represent the paddle. So inside this function, x would represent the ball and y would represent the paddle. So to just make it easy for your first time seeing it, that's why I have them be named the same. Ball, paddle. Oh, okay. But you would like that. It does, either way would work. And then it was H SGS dot bounce off. X, X Y or ball paddle. It doesn't. Whichever one you want to do. So okay. the difference being, <clears throat> if you use X Y, then you have to use X Y inside the function. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have brought that up yet. Wait. You don't have to use that. You can do. You can do what the hint says. You could copy this one in if you wanted. Yeah. And it will work the exact same. Later on, you, if you were looking online or like reading about code, then you would see XY is the more common way to do it because it's quicker, shorter. But this will do the exact same thing. Do I hit enter after starting the bracket? Um... Right here. Um, yeah. 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 Put it down below. It doesn't. It won't matter in the code. You could have everything on one line like this, and the but computer just reads it fine. But to people, that that's hard for me to comprehend. Okay. So it's good to do it like that. Okay. So now, when your ball hits the paddle, it should bounce off it. Okay, so now you're going to have, I'm going to rewrite that lesson a little bit. <clears> okay, <throat> hey, I, I got 10 more minutes. We'll get as far as we can. Okay, so now, did you guys all get the bounce off, the on hit? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right now I'm doing what you just put on. Yeah, so now we're going to, when we key down on the left key, and left key's all caps, then run this function. We don't pass any arguments in. We just say, this is what we want to happen. Yes. Key mm -hmm. down. Push. <coughs> Okay, so control S. Now I can reload. Oh, yeah, I need to put an underscore in the space. And then function.
I don't want dot push right. Wait a second. When I do it, my paddles don't. Push they don't show. My paddles aren't moving. Um, did you save your file? Yeah, I did. But um, am I supposed to put an X and a Y in the middle of the uh, function? Not on the key down. So see how see my screen right here. Yeah. Christian. So these yeah. functions are empty. Okay. We only pass arguments into the functions when we're doing on hits. Oh wait, I was I was supposed to put two of them. Okay. Well, one for go, the left key that you push down, and then one for the right key when you push down. Right. It says, hello, thanks for trying out Sublime Text. This is oh, an unregistered yeah, just get canceled. So Sublime Text is a free program, but you can pay for it if you're going to use it commercially. So I bought mine. So mine never says that. But you, they say you can use it for free for education purposes. So. But I am. That's why you can read it. Yeah, it's just asking. It's just reminding you. It's just saying, hey, would you like to buy me now? <laughs> it's basically... But, well, but I don't understand quite what's the point of buying it, though. Just supporting their great cause. You don't get any new features. It's just kind of like thanks for writing a cool program that we use. Sublime text people for coding. <clears throat> yep. So, obviously, I'm using this to sell to people and to teach, so I bought it because I like Sublime text a lot for a lot of reasons. Well, one day maybe we'll do all the cool stuff you can do with Sublime Text. Yeah. Write five mile long plugins. <laughs> okay, Nick, are your paddles moving? Uh, one sec, let me hit save. Let me know when they're moving. I'll... Yes. My paddles still aren't moving. Okay, um, so Christian, what I want you to do is right click anywhere in the browser and then select inspect element. Have you done that before? Yeah, they're moving. Um, yeah, I've sometimes done it. Okay, and then click on the console and see if there's any errors. Mine are moving. Nice. Okay, He's Nick, so try and get when you push right to make the top one move right and the bottom one move left. And when you push left, have it do the opposite. It doesn't say there are any errors. What? Oh, there's no errors. So what you may have done, did you put it below your end start? Which one? Your uh, key downs. Let's see. I put it below bounce off. Okay, so you still have your end start right in the right spot. Yeah. Okay, I'll t okay Nick, are you watching my screen? Yeah. Okay. So see how they go like that? Mm-hmm. Okay, try and oh, get yours now, to go like that. Now they're moving. Because I, I wasn't using the keys, now they're moving. Oh, you weren't pushing the keys. No. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, code is very accurate. Okay, so now see if you can figure out how to make the paddles move like this. To make sure that I, that you'll understand exactly what the code is talking about. This makes the game a lot harder. <laughs> well, the problem is I can't move one of my things in a different direction, and they all have to be in the same direction that I move them. Well, they are right now. What I'm saying is edit your code so that when you push the right key, one will move right and one will move left. Oh, I think I know how. Okay. Um, yeah. So paddle two, push right, and paddle two, I mean paddle one, push right, and paddle two, push left. Yeah, try that. Okay. 
see. Wait a second. I may have, because now it's not letting me doing anything at all. <laughs> yes, okay. So, make sure you used a capital letter. Yeah, I did. Okay, see if there's anything in the console. We got three minutes to figure it out. Oh, now it's doing it. <laughs> what was the problem? Yeah. But the problem is it moved to it moved to left, and now it's not doing anything. It's off the screen, or what? It's not off the screen, but now yeah. it now well, the red one won't move. That means yeah. when you push the other way, it's still trying to move left and go into the screen harder. Okay. Probably. Did you get it, Nick? <sighs> Uh, I'm having the same issue. Once I hit an arrow key, they're just stuck in the corners. Yeah, so now, so if, like, say that you hit right, now look at your, or if you hit left and it gets stuck left, look what happens on your right key function to make sure that it can get out of there. <clears throat> so you can do all sorts of stuff, right? Computer will do whatever you tell it to. Oh, whoops. I just need to refresh it again. It, it doesn't work at first, but then it suddenly starts working. Oh, it's probably just takes a second to load in your browser. Are you on an older computer? No, I'm on a Windows 10. Same. Hmm. Did you guys get yours out of the corner? Oh, now now it's doing it. Okay. Yeah, I got mine out of the corner. Now I added uh, I added a different direction to both of the keys functions, mm -hmm. um, and now it's doing it correctly. Nice. Nick, is your working okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, take a look at my code. See if you can see what's what's different with yours. One second, I just need to go into full screen. Um, yep, it looks the same. Nice. Okay, take a look at mine there, Nick. I'm in Montana. You're in Montana? Oh, um, that's just this um, Hannah Montana soundboard thing. <laughs> that, that was weird. <laughs> All I heard was, I'm Hannah Montana. That's all we all heard. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, can you go back to your code so I can... Yeah. yeah. Take a look at that. And then I got to jump off in a minute, but... <clears throat> so keep going through the lessons, okay? Yeah. And get through number two. So what, what you'll learn next is, so it's going to be all sorts of different ways to use functions. We've looked at the on hit function, the key down functions. You'll see how to keep score. Um, you got to pay attention to those, the lesson keeping score. Lots of kids put the updating score in the wrong place. So you'll learn how to keep score. Then you'll learn how to make a game over screen and a win screen and an index, I think. And then add sound effects. So when the ball hits the paddle, you can add your own sound effects. So when the ball hits the paddle, you could have it say, I'm Hannah Montana. Okay. Every time the ball what hits the paddle. Why do people know I'm Hannah? They won't treat me the same. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever sounds you want. So that's what's coming up in the lessons. So you'll learn how to do sound effects, um, game over, keep score, stuff like that. Okay. Okay, Nick, how far did you get? It, I don't see anything different. Besides something that I changed because it, it was different before, but now it's different again, <laughs> which was the order of the push left and push right. Oh, yeah, that won't matter. Um, make sure these brackets close before the next one's open. Um, capital letters to lead off the direction. Um, I remember... Um, <clears throat> when I was doing my um, walk cycle. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Um, I when I I basically what I did was I copied the right code. Uh huh. Oh wait. Um, I see one thing that's different. There okay. wasn't a semicolon on some of these. Does that even matter? Uh, it's good practice. <sighs> yeah. 
You should put them in there. Does it matter? Sometimes it matters. Yeah. Depends on, yeah. I could probably delete these and it would still work. Yeah, I don't see mm -hmm. any difference. No difference, huh? Not that, none that I can see anyway. Yeah, some cases are necessary. Um, right click in your browser and do inspect element, see if there's an error. And then click console. Apparently, the character encoding of the HTML document was not declared. Yeah, I don't. I don't. In, like, I don't see anything. In gameover.html. <laughs> so you don't have any errors in here. In the console section. Yeah. None. None. And your what's happening with your paddle? So you move it and it gets stuck. Yeah. <clears throat> and then you can't move it out. Yeah. Um. Repaste, repaste so they both move simul together, and then you can either move on the lesson or if you want to try and edit them again, you can. Okay. But, okay, I gotta jump off now. If you guys have any questions, you can. I'll still be on chat, and then Quinn, I'll be going through your game for a minute. But I got another group. I'm gonna be helping at eleven. Would you like to be roaring in your ear. <laughs> Thank you for that, Christian. If you keep playing those, we might call you Sue again, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have two uh, copies of the thing, one where it's not working, because I did, like, the se save another oh, version. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you have a backup. Something to happened. Gotcha. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Well, thanks, guys. I'll probably do another one in, like, two weeks. Okay? Okay. Okay, if you remember, tell your parents, leave an Amazon review. Okay. All right. Okay, if you have any questions, send them my way. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yep. Cool. Yeah, thanks. thanks. Okay. See ya.